Gang culture is rife. It's plagued damn near every city and every town. And to be honest, it's part of being the youth. Now the culture is glorified in songs and billboards and posters and music and movies. The presence and the law of being or belonging to a gang will cause people to do the most violent acts in public. On the 21st of February, aspiring mechanic 23-year-old Glendon Spence was with two friends when they heard a stranger mention a gang. In response, Glendon looked up and saw two hooded teenagers approach him, holding out knives. Now the crazy thing was, Glendon and those boys did not know each other. They didn't have any previous interaction with each other either. There was no beef. Now instant kicked in and Glendon and friends ran to the Marcus Slipton Youth Centre. Now they burst through the doors, knocking things over as they sought to run away from the two teenagers welding knives. Now imagine the adrenaline that kicks in when you're faced with losing your life, a flight or fight determination. Now 17-year-old Rishana Florence and 18-year-old Chibuzu Yukanu were the two hooded figures and they were out for blood for no reason. This was a premeditated attack to show London who was the baddest gang about. Now when Glendon entered the youth club, he weaved between teenagers then ran around a ping pong table or a tennis ball table, whatever you want to call it, when he slipped. Now 23-year-old Glendon fell. Glendon fell on his side and then he scooted on his bomb, trying to back away. And as Glendon was being attacked, he tried to kick out at his attackers with his legs. He was set up and stabbed in the thigh in front of other teenagers who were using the centre. Now witness Jonathan St. Marie, who worked at the youth centre, actually cried on the stand as he had to tell the world how he saw Glendon die. Imagine watching another person lose their life and knowing that you can't do anything about it because you're stuck with fear. He said he saw two teenagers armed with an 18-inch knife. They had one each and they launched for Glendon. Now Jonathan said Rashawn stepped forward towards Glendon and began stabbing him in a downward motion as Glendon was on the floor. And then Chibozu Yukanu entered the frame and began to use his knife. Now once the stabbing took place, both Rishan and Chibozu jumped into a waiting BMW and then they drove off. Now 18 year old Rishan was accused of being the person to kill 23 year old Glendon, but he denied being involved at all, despite being caught on CCTV. Now Chibozu wanted to save himself, so he told the police it was all Rishan. Again, just think for a moment what I just said. The two teenagers went on a campaign of violence together. They chased Glendon to a youth centre, stabbed him, and then you have Rishan denying any involvement. And then you have Chibuzu telling all the information to save his own skin. The day after the stabbing, Rishan tried to leave the country. He booked a ticket to Uganda, but was arrested in Heathrow Airport. While Chibuzu didn't have that much money, so he boarded a coach to Manchester, trying to get lost in, I don't know, some city centre or something. So what the judge did was hand... Vishan, 18 years for the murder, and he also handed Chibuzu 14 years in a youth offenders institute. And that's the sad misfortune of how Glendon lost his life, for being in the wrong place at the wrong time and being with friends and looking that like he was on a part of a gang, when all this guy was being was an aspiring mechanic. It's a shame. Stay safe, safe.